YouTube! <laughs> Sorry about that. What's going on? Flag 1122. Back again. Listening to a little Duran Duran. This is the LP uh, Carnival. On my fantastic uh, Motorola X3... Is it 300? X300. Fantastic sound on this bad boy. Love it. Been really uh, rediscovering my LPs again. Uh, such a crisp warm sound from this uh, fantastic condition. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, going to make a little video today about uh, LPs that were released in Japan. Now, I'm not smoking today because I got a little bit of a head cold and I don't want to aggravate it. I've uh, been snoozing a lot though. But uh, yeah, LPs that were released over in Japan, uh, as far as I can tell they were only released for the Japanese market and this is uh, like I said Duran Duran's Carnival and this is an LP I picked up while I was living in Japan here it is so I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can take a look at it the lights kind of horrible here but uh, yeah I picked this uh, LP up in Japan for God for God it was less than like two dollars it was about two dollars American it's about 189 yen uh, I just love too. I mean, uh, the presentation of the of the uh, LPs in Japan. And got it on the side there. Uh, this carnival and Kanibaru in uh, Japanese. And uh, the really cool things about uh, LPs in Japan, especially like LPs from the from the 80s era. Let me open it up here. Kind of tricky. You can. Uh, Always, uh, they had, uh, they kind of went above and beyond, and they always gave you a little bit more, so, uh, let me open this up and let you take a look, and by the way, this LP was in perfect condition when I got it, but, uh, of course, you know, you've got, uh, the record, but, uh, you always got a lot of, like, little extra added bonuses, you got this <laughs> totally rad, uh, booklet here, kind of folds out into a poster, of, uh, of the band. It's got really brilliant pictures. Uh, this is uh, kind of uh, talks about their world tour in 82. Uh, as you can see, it kind of folds out. I mean, you could easily put this on your wall. Oh, just wonderful. Look at that. Roger Taylor. And, uh, of course, Andy Taylor over here. And, uh, you know, just interviews and stuff like that. And that's uh, one of the extras you get in the Japanese LP. Uh, let me dig around here. This is uh, their uh, discography. A little bit more information about the band uh, and videography. It's really cool, uh, kind of like goodies that came along with uh, the Japanese LP. And I think there was some stickers in this one too. It may have been in something else. No, it's not in this one, but. Uh, very cool. This is a uh, an LP I got in Japan as well. Uh, this is uh, Aha's Scoundrel Days. I'm not going to open this one up, but again, uh, completely full of, uh, of amazing goodies. This one has the stickers in there. And uh, <coughs> excuse me. Like I said, I got these in Japan for next to nothing. It's been several years ago now since I picked them up there. Uh, <coughs> but you can really. Uh, find some amazing deals over uh, over in Japan for uh, 80s music. Uh, there was a store in uh, all over Japan, it's called Book Off, and I know that there was a couple, they opened a couple Book Offs in uh, California and Los Angeles and uh, San Diego maybe, and uh, man, they just had so many great LPs that were just in absolute immaculate condition. Like this, uh, this Duran Duran LP right here, I mean, not a single scratch, not a single smudge. Um, Everything that I just showed you, I mean, this looks brand new, and I know this isn't, this wasn't a new pressing, so whoever had these, uh, they just took fantastic care of them. Um, I wish that I would bought, I would have been able to buy more LPs when I lived over there. I always bought what I could, but it was hard to kind of like store them when I was living overseas because there wasn't a lot of room to store stuff, so, so you know, and LPs are kind of big. Uh, but I got several uh, Culture Club LPs, and I got some Pet Shop Boys stuff, and, uh, some Tears for Fears and Thompson Twins, so uh, that's where I, if anybody wants to know where I got like kind of uh, the bulk of my um, 80s LP collection, it was when I was living over in Japan, and uh, God, 
But I'm not going to do a review on Carnival. I might do a review on Carnival another time. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of songs on it. Uh, I love this song that's playing in the in the background right now, uh, Hold Back the Rain. One of my favorite, all-time favorite uh, Duran Duran songs. And uh, there's a version of Hungry Like the Wolf on this, too, the night version, which I think is amazing. It contains in the song sort of a... Uh, orgasmic uh, back melody sort of sounds like uh, well it's definitely the night version maybe nighttime emissions anyway uh, you know that's all for me today just wanted to give a little kind of quick update on, uh, on myself I'm doing well you know like I said I'm not smoking a pipe today because of allergies but uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be better and you know back on my game uh, my cat wants to say hi. String is here. My kitten. She's getting huge. Look at her. Not a kitten anymore. You're not a kitten anymore. What's up? The kitten phase didn't last very long. Although she's still kind of a mess. So she's still got the kitten phase as far as getting into everything. But doing pretty good, right? Yeah. Hello, YouTube. Ugh. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys and gals. Um, smoke great pipes. Listen to some great music. Uh, spin your records and enjoy yourselves. Cheers.